This is a quick tutorial on our template for the ChatGPT API, how to send multiple prompts and then get their responses. So let me show you how we build it so that you can build it and adapt it to your needs. So first we do a list and in this list you enter manually your prompts, one prompt per line. Okay, I'm gonna, I want to ask about who is Michael Jackson and then I give the instruction that I want just one sentence from ChatGPT. Who is Genghis Khan and who was the man behind Dracula? So these are my three prompts and when I put them in the list like this, it creates a loop. So it will run it three times and then here I call the value, the current value of the list by using our syntax open open bracket, the name of the list which is L capital letter I S T and I close close the parenthesis. And then what you need to do here is that you, you just need to uh, copy and paste your own chat GPT key. API key um, and then you simply add an extract result so once we get the response from ChatGPT we extract the result so I save now what I have done and then on the inspection side I created the first um, property that I called prompt and again I use the open open bracket list to save the current prompt and then I created the second property where I actually use the same syntax to call the ChatGPT response so I copied the name of, of the variable of ChatGPT. I put it in between the double brackets. So this will save the prompt here and the response here. And then it will go to the next one and create a second line and third line. So this is what it's supposed to do. I'll just save it and let's run it. Okay. So you can't see anything because it doesn't go to any website. But if I look at here, you see it's starting with the, it sent already the first prompt. So who is Michael Jordan? Now it's getting the answer. Then who is Genghis Khan? It's getting the answer. And he got also Dracula answer as a third. Let's look at the results. We do have three results. Let's uh, look further. So we have the prompt. Who is Genghis Khan? Genghis Khan was the founder of the first emperor of the Mongol Empire. Okay, we got the good answer. Who, is, who was Dracula? And then who was Michael Jordan? So you got all three answers from all three uh, prompts and you can do this for hundreds or even thousands of prompts. You can also use dynamic prompts. Like uh, for example, you could, you could build it with the, the first part of the prompt that is static and then the last part of the prompt that is dynamic. For example, get me the description of this category, double dot, and then you dynamically put the category of your e-commerce website. We can cover that on another uh, video, but this is a very quick uh, demo on how you actually use it. You just have to replace your chat GPT key. So I re uh, I show you again because that is the most important part that we miss. Before you run the automation, make sure you come into smart GPT chat GPT command here and just replace here with your own key. That's it guys and enjoy the template.